Look guys, understand one thing clearly. In the technical side of any industry, you will get a job solely based on your knowledge and skills. Your college, CDEC or any training institute's role is simply to bring you opportunities and arrange what to study and how to study. As long as you keep this in mind, you won't fall for fake advertising by colleges or institutes. Now let's have a detailed discussion about how a student can enter the field of VLSI. How many scenarios are possible, what to do in certain situations and how to avoid scams in today's time. VLSI is the most promising field in electronics, but entering it isn't that easy. It is obvious that if you want to work in a complex field like chip design, you will be tested on fundamentals, patience and aptitude. To become a VLSI engineer, there are several paths. Some pursue an M.Tech from top college, some have a B.Tech from a college that companies visit, some opt for C.Tech, while others join some training institute without much research, wasting their time and money. So we will discuss the myths around these paths and choose the best one based on your academic background and available time. If you are in a college where top electronics MNCs are visiting, be it for roles in VLSI, SPML, communication or any other, and you have reached your final year without doing much apart from passing semesters, still you have about 6 to 8 months left until the placement season starts. The key is to find out which companies are mostly coming and for what role. You can gather this information from your seniors. Prepare thoroughly for VLSI or whatever field you are interested in. For every field, you may find a roadmap on YouTube. In BTEC, they don't expect you to go too deep into advanced subjects, but you should have a strong foundation in basic electronics and programming fundamentals. So if your BTEC college itself is providing you with opportunities, you don't need to do much extra. There is enough content freely available and colleges often offer free courses on platforms like Udemy or Coursera. Simply prepare the subjects and get interview clear. No need for MTEC, CTEC or any training institute. Remember, colleges or training institute just brings opportunities to you. Converting this opportunity is totally your skill. The real challenge is faced by those students whose colleges don't have on-campus company visits and whose curriculum doesn't teach anything special. They get stuck in traditional subjects and often have no idea what's happening in the real world. So if you are in the first year or the initial years of BTEC, my advice is to stay updated with the latest technologies, analyze different domains and understand what you should focus on for a better career. So for new new BTEC grads or those whose college couldn't bring on-campus opportunities, my suggestion is to decide on some domain or path and quickly excel in it. Now for those students who have almost reached their final year in colleges and have no idea what to do after BTEC, there are three scenarios. First one is preparing for GATE. If you are preparing for GATE, try to score at least 650 plus to have a shot at top NITs for VLSI or related fields. Do MTech and get a high paying VLSI job in product based company. Another promising option is CDEC. While it doesn't guarantee 100% placement, in fact no one can guarantee 100% placement, but it involves an entrance exam and you get a college based on your rank. They provide resources and placement support as well. So if you don't have a GATE score or can't wait for an MTech, a 6 month CDEC course with your hard work can give you a 50-50 chance. Although the packages are almost half compared to MTech, so it's a reasonable compromise or trade off. The third option is training institutes. Some genuinely help but many are just businesses. Be KCS and do your research before choosing one. VLSI theory content is available for free. You can learn Verilog and System Verilog freely. But practicing on EDA tools might be challenging due to their high cost. If your college doesn't provide opportunities and access to these tools, and CDEC isn't an option. In that case, only you can consider training institutes. But do your thorough research before making a decision. Always remember that your hard-earned money should be invested wisely as your parents worked hard for it. Also, if you can do self-study and some projects, then for VLSI, try to get intensive opportunities. As intern interviews are not that much tough as compared to full-time roles. That intensive will bring industry exposure to you and you may convert that opportunity to full-time role. Or try for roles in service based companies and switch to product based companies with experience. This is the another way you can try to get into VLSI industry just with
with BTEC. In conclusion, if your college already has companies visiting and good labs, you no need to look elsewhere. If your college isn't providing opportunities and you can score well in gate and have two years to invest, go for MTech because it can lead to a package of 20 plus lakhs. If time is a constraint or you can't score well in gate, consider CDEC and aim for their top centers. If neither of the above options work for you, then only you can explore training institutes. But make your decision based on thorough research. That's all for this discussion. Keep exploring electronics.